What if I told you that police assault a woman who's handcuffed in the hospital, in a hospital bed? You will say, no way, not inside of the hospital, in the hospital bed. Uh, let me take you to the video. I worked it out Perfect. too. We're gonna go ahead and take you to CT. You don't need to get undressed. I'm fine now that a female health is in here. We're good. Perfect. We're not taking her to CT for anything. All I need her is cleared for incarceration. She's going to jail. We understand, that's but that's it. the position order. Don't you dare bite it! Don't you dare bite it! Don't you dare bite it! Yeah. I'm going to give you the background as to what you just saw. Let's put it up full mass. According to a lawsuit filed on February 1st, a California woman named Malia Ashad was in attendance at a county superior court hearing August 9th, 2022. When a woman, Ashad, had a restraining order against, attacked her and repeatedly hit Ashad in the head and face with a cell phone and her fist. Ashad grabbed the woman's hair in an attempt of self defense and stopped the assault before sheriff's deputies intervened. The lawsuit, however, is filed against the Alameda County Sheriff's Department and several deputies who beat Ashad as she awaited a CT scan in the emergency room in San, uh, in San Lindro, California. Ashad was initially relieved that two deputies, Ryan Connolly and Colin Linahan, stepped in to rescue her. But they handcuffed her instead and caused her to hit her head on a table and temporarily lose consciousness. As she lay lifeless on the floor, bleeding from her head and wrist, the complaint reads. One of the attorneys, Angel Alexander, told the Sacramento Bee that Ashad's relief quickly turned into confusion and panic where she was treated as an assailant rather than instead of a victim. During their initial contact with Mr. Shaw, sheriff's deputies hit her twice in the head, causing Mr. Shaw to fall and strike her head on the table, seize and temporarily lose consciousness, her attorneys wrote. Deputy Matthew Simon reportedly made no attempt to help Ashad and performed a pat down search as she lay bleeding on the floor, she says. The claim further alleges that another deputy, Sergeant Ruth Jones, later told Ashad she was under arrest for assault despite the woman who attacked Ashad admitting she beat her. However, after the paramedics arrived on the scene, they said Ashad needed to go to the ER. Ashad, who was taken to the emergency room at the Kaiser Permanente San Leandro Medical Center and the on staff ER physician determined that she needed a CT scan to rule out brain damage. However, Jones, who was named in a lawsuit, objected and overruled the physician and ordered Ms. Ashad to be removed from the hospital without a CT scan being taken, the attorney's state. Quote, you're not taking her to CT, said Jones. We just need her clear for incarceration, end quote. Ashad was shackled to the bed and began to protest after being told she needed a CT scan but would not be treated. The deputy, Deputy Hayer, then grabbed Ashad by the throat and viciously pinned her to the hospital bed while the other cops savagely punched her in the head, causing her to lose consciousness once again, Ashad says. After Ashad regained consciousness, Lena Han punched her again 
in an apparent fit of rage as she tried to remove her legs from his grip while she was in a wheelchair. The hit knocked over the wheelchair and sent a shot onto the floor where her head was hit again. One of the deputies is heard on his body camera screaming, don't you dare. And then the other cop put his foot on her back despite her losing consciousness again. And she was transported to the Santa Rita jail. Quote, instead of working to ensure she got the medical care she deserved and was entitled to, the male deputies attacked Miss Ashad again by punching her in the head, grabbing her by the throat and slamming her onto the hospital bed, causing her to lose consciousness a second time, reads the lawsuit. At the end of the ordeal, Ms. Ashad was left in debilitating, was left in debilitating head and body pain with lacerations on her wrist and a boot print on her back. Perhaps most significantly, she was taken to jail without receiving a CT scan. Ryan Connolly, Colin Lihana, Robin Durple, Hare, Ruth Jones, and Matthew Simon are all named in the lawsuit with the Alameda Sheriff's Office. The agency's chief executive officer is Sheriff Coroner Sanchez. Buck stops with you, or does it? We shall see. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office released a statement claiming that the video does not depict the entire story. Quote, the release clips are a limited and skewed depiction of the incident and do not represent the totality of what occurred. Beyond stating that the complaint received appropriate medical treatment during that incident, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office must reserve further comment on a lawsuit for which we have not received service. Uh, lawsuit is coming. Lawsuit is coming. Now, Sheriff, you know good and damn well these individuals treated this woman in a way that is horrific in a way that is adversarial to the training they receive or what you have said law enforcement is about. Put up the sheriff one more time. Sheriff, I want to ask you a direct question. Whenever your people get this segment to you, would you have the same feeling if what happened to this woman happened to your sister? or to your mother, or to your daughter? Of course not. Your sentiment would be completely opposite of this statement. It takes a certain person to lead with heart rather than with industry first. I'm encouraging you to lead with heart, do the right thing. You know the bad apples that are among you. We'll bring you updates as they develop.